This is BBC News, broadcasting to viewers in the UK and around the world. I'm Jane Hill. The headlines. The UK announces just over 183,000 new coronavirus cases, a record daily total. Experts say it's still not clear how bad this surge of infections might be. We need to watch the, the data for a couple of weeks, probably, the other side of New Year, to be absolutely sure which way this wave is going. And as record infection rates are reported across Europe and the US, the World Health Organization warns of a huge strain on global health services. I'm highly concerned that Omicron being more transmissible, circulating at the same time as Delta, is leading to a tsunami of cases. Some people in the UK are waiting for days for a PCR test following high demand and pharmacists are warning of patchy supplies of the rapid test kits. The European Court of Human Rights urges Russia to suspend the shutdown of the country's oldest human rights group. And prayers and thanksgiving in Soweto, followed by an interfaith memorial service in Cape Town to celebrate the life of Archbishop Desmond Tutu. Hello and welcome to BBC News. Boris Johnson has urged everyone in the UK to get their booster jab. He says 90% of people currently in intensive care with COVID hadn't received their third vaccine. His comments come as new figures show more than 10,000 people in England are in hospital with COVID. That's the highest number since March. Meanwhile, doctors and pharmacists in the UK are warning of variable supplies of COVID tests because of a big rise in demand. Officials say more kits are being made available. Contributing to both the demand for testing kits and those high number of COVID patients is the surge in cases. The latest data shows a further 183,000 people have tested positive for COVID in the UK. The figure is significantly higher than a week ago because it's affected by delays in reporting over the Christmas period. Our first report is from our health correspondent, Catherine DaCosta. George Winder and his wife, Nikki Abu 